In this video, we'll be looking at a brief history of computer and its development. It is very interesting to note that the electronic computer has been around for over a half a century, but its ancestors have been around for 2000 years. However, it is only in the last 40 to 50 years that it has changed the society dramatically. So here we'll be talking about a device that has changed the way we work, live and even play. So let's begin with it. The computer as we know it today had its beginning in the 19th century with English mathematics professor named as Charles Babbage. He had designed the analytical engine and it was this design that the basic framework of the computers of today are based on, mainly binary numbers, zeros and one. Because of which in many of the test books you will find that Charles Babbage has been named as the father of modern computers. So talking about computers, let's first define what is known as a computer. One of the definitions, uh, a simple one, is a computer is a programmable machine. The second definition that we can see is, it is a machine that manipulates or executes data according to a list of instructions, better known as programs. Then a computer is any device which aids human in performing various kinds of computations or calculations. And in fact, the word computer was given to humans who initially did these kind of calculations. So one of the main characteristics of computers are that it responds to a specific set of instructions which are given to it in a well-defined manner and because of which the output is also in a very well-defined manner. Then it can execute a pre-recorded list or a set of instructions and can quickly store as well as retrieve large amounts of data and because of these three special characteristics computer have been used. Let us talk about the earliest computers. Originally calculations were computed by humans as stated earlier whose job title was in fact known as computers. These human computers were typically engaged in calculation of mathematical expressions. What is a mathematical expression? For example x plus x square minus 7 is equal to something is a mathematical expression. These calculations were of specialized nature and due to which it required a large number of people and thus was very expensive and because of this very reason women were hired and that too they required years of training in mathematics so it was a kind of a specialized job as you can say. The first use of the word computer was recorded around 613 and it referred to a person who carried out these kind of calculations or computations. Soon this word was continued at least up till present days but not in terms of humans but in terms of the machines. One of the very first computers uh, that can be called as a computer was an abacus. An abacus is a mechanical device used to aid an individual in performing mathematical calculations. The abacus is said to be invented in Babylon around 2400 BC and the abacus that we know today in its modern most modern form was first used in China in around 500 BC. It is used to perform basic arithmetic operations like addition and subtractions. Then came in Napier's bones invented by John Napier in 1614. It allowed the operator to multiply, divide and calculate square and cube roots by moving the rods around and placing them in a specially constructed boards. Then came in the slide rule, invented by William Ottred in 1622. It is based on Napier's ideas about logarithms. It was used primarily for multiplication, division, roots, logarithms and even trigonometry. Then in 1642, Pascalin came in. It was invented by Blaise Pascal was led to develop a calculator because of the laborious arithmetical calculations which was required by his father's work who was a supervisor of taxes. He designed the machine to add and subtract two numbers directly and to perform multiplication and division through repeated addition or subtraction. Pascal's calculator was especially successful in design of its carry forward mechanism which adds 1 to 9 on one dial and when it changes from 9 to 0 carries one to the next dial. This is a similar process wherein a students learn the first time multiplication. 
though this was a genius design it was not very successful and was expensive as well but nevertheless it inspired newer inventions thus many of the later calculators were either directly inspired by or were shaped by the same historical influences which had led the pascal's invention for example gottfried leibniz invented his leibniz wheel in 1671 after trying to add an automatic multiplication feature to the pascaline the next important invention has nothing to do with calculations but moreover with programming this machine was known as jacquard machine or jacquard loom it was a device fitted to a power loom that simplifies the process of manufacturing textiles with complex patterns It was invented by Joseph Mary Jacquard in 1804. The loom was controlled by a chain of cards, specifically speaking, punch cards. These punch cards were laced together in a continuous sequence, and multiple rows of holes were punched on each card, with one complete card corresponding to one row of a design. Several such cards allowed sequences of any length to be constructed. This use of replaceable punch cards to control a sequence of operations is considered an important step in the history of computing hardware because these punch cards were basically controlling the power loom and the outcome of the patterns so it was basically a kind of a program a very simplified one though then came an arithmometer a mechanical calculator invented by Thomas D Colmer in 1820 the first reliable useful and commercially successful calculating machine the machine could perform all the four basic mathematic functions and it was the first mass produced calculating machine then came in difference engine and analytical engine it was an it was automatic mechanical calculator designed to tabulate polynomial functions poly means many it was invented by charles babbage in 1822 and 1834 respectively it is said to be the first mechanical computer speaking of this computer we will also need to first talk about the first computer programmer known by the name of augusta ada byron or more famously as ada lovelace who suggested to babbage that he use the binary system so thus she is famous for writing programs for the analytical engine then came in shoesian calculation engine invented by per george shoes in 1843 based on charles babbage difference engine this was the first printing calculator then came in tabulating machine it was invented by herman in 1890 to assist in summarizing information and accounting then came in the ibm automatic sequence control calculator or ascc also known by the name of mark 1 by Harvard University staff it was basically a general purpose electromechanical computer that was used in the war efforts during the last part of the world war 2 one of the first programs to run on mark 1 was wherein john von neumann who was working on manhattan project manhattan project is related to the atomic bomb he wanted to determine whether implosion was a viable choice to detonate the atomic bomb that would be used a year later the word implosion means an instance of something collapsing violently inwards which is exactly opposite to an explosion for example stars undergoes a violent implosion which is caused by gravity and they collapse in itself forming a black hole this happens when a star dies another interesting thing is the mark 1 also computed and printed mathematical tables which had been the initial goal of british inventor charles babbage for his analytical engine the mark 1 had 60 sets of 24 switches for manual data entry and could store 72 numbers each 23 decimal digits long it could do three additions or subtractions in a second a multiplication took 6 seconds a division took 15.3 seconds and a log or a trigonometric function took over a minute at that time it was said to be the industry's best and the largest electromechanical calculator then came in z1 
Z1, the first programmable computer, created by Konrad Zeus in Germany from 1936 to 1938. Z1 contained almost all parts of a modern computer. It had a control unit, memory, micro sequences, floating point logic, and input and output devices. C1 was freely programmable via punch tape and a punch tape reader. There was a clear separation between the punch tape reader, the control unit for supervising the whole machine, and the execution of the instructions, the arithmetic unit, and the input output devices. The input tape unit read perforations in 35 mm field. Perforation means hole. The holes are similar to what we see in an old Kodak film cameras. Z1 was destroyed in one of the British bombings and later in his life he redeveloped it in terms of Z3 and Z4. Z4 is termed as one of the first commercially available computers and also with full Turing completeness. Then came in the Athenasoft Perry computer or ABC. It is said to be the first electronic digital computing device invented by Professor John Atensoff and his graduate student Clifford Berry at Iowa State University between 1939 and 1942. Then came in ENIAC. E-N-I-A-C stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. It was the first electronic general purpose computer which was completed in 1946 and was developed by John Presper Eskert and John W. Morgan. It was amongst the earliest electronic general purpose computers ever made. It was Turing complete, digital and able to solve a large class of numerical problems through reprogramming. Although ENIAC was designed and primarily used to calculate artillery firing tables to guess the trajectory, uh, especially for United States Army, its first program was a study of the feasibility of thermonuclear weapon. It was heralded as a giant brain by the press. It had a speed on the order of 1000 times faster than that of the electromechanical machines. This computational power, coupled with general purpose programmability, excited scientists and industries alike. The combination of speed and programmability allowed for thousands more calculations for problems. For example, ENIAC calculated a trajectory in 30 seconds that took a human 20 hours. Then came in UNIVAC 1. UNIVAC stands for Universal Automatic Computer 1. It was the first commercial computer produced in the United States. It was designed principally by the inventors of the ENIAC, J. Presper Escort and John Mossu. The first UNIVAC was given to U.S. Census Bureau in 1951. Its fifth machine, which was built for U.S. Atomic Energy Commission, was actually used by later CBS, the U.S. News and Radio Broadcast Channel, to predict the results of 1952 presidential elections. And thus, ever since then, computers have been regularly being used to predict election results. Then came in ADVAC. ADVAC stands for Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer. It was the first stored program computer designed by Von Neumann in 1952. It had a memory to hold both stored program as well as data. Functionally, ADVAC was a binary serial computer with automatic addition, subtraction, multiplication, program division and automatic checking with an ultrasonic serial memory. And unlike its predecessor, the ENIAC, ADVAC was a binary rather than a decimal. Then came in Osborne 1, which was the first commercially successful portable microcomputer. It was released on 3rd April 1981 by Osborne Computer Corporation. It was powered directly from a main socket as it had no onboard battery. It was still classed as a portable device since it could be hand carried when it was packed. The computer shipped with a large bundle of software that was almost equivalent in value to the machine itself, a practice which was later on adopted by all the computer manufacturers and computer vendors at that time. So thus, 
these computers was still called as luggables. Luggable meaning though they are portable but were very difficult to carry. And thus they lack the next technological advancement that is not requiring any external power source. That feature was introduced by a laptop. Laptops were followed by lighter models. Then in the 2000s mobile devices were introduced. By 2007 smartphones and by 2010 introduced wearable computers such as smartwatches. Thus we have reached till the present times and let's hope for some new things in the future.